Hey everyone, it's Anthony with Policy Buff, and I'm back with our newest How I Got the Shot video. This episode's gonna be a bit of a two-parter. First, we're gonna finish out our series on gridded modifiers and talk about the softbox and octabox. And since we got a lot of new photographers coming to us with some questions, we're also gonna cover the difference between softboxes and octaboxes. But before we get started, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, click on that little bell notification to be notified when we post some new content, and let's get started. We offer our foldable soft boxes and octaboxes in various sizes, and you can check those out here on our website. For the purpose of this video, we're gonna be using the 32 by 40 inch soft box and the 47 inch octabox. Soft boxes and octaboxes are a staple in most photo studios. They both offer a really flattering light on almost any portrait subject. So what's the difference? It basically comes down to the shape of the modifier. Soft boxes are really versatile and are great for portraits and product photography. The shape is similar to window lighting and the light itself is more directional than it would be with an octabox and it gives it a quicker fall off. Octaboxes have a rounder shape that wrap around your subject more and create natural catch lights in the eyes. Because of the coverage that the octabox provides, it makes it really popular for one light setups. Adding the grid to either one of these modifiers, as you've seen in our previous videos, simply cuts the beam spread in half. But enough of me talking, let's get into the actual images so you can see for yourself. As with our other grid videos, first I'm going to show you both the softbox and octabox used on a basic portrait as the main light up front, just so you can clearly see the difference in the spread of light. You'll see that with just the inner diffusion installed, the lighting is a little brighter with more contrast. Next, with both the inner and outer diffusion in place, the light becomes more diffused and softer, and the outer diffusion evens out that spread of light. Finally, with the grid installed on top of both diffusions, the beam spread is more focused. For the first look, I used a single Link 800 in our Octbox. I started off by using just the inner and outer diffusion panels. I boomed my light out in front of my model tech. This positioning of the light gave me really great overall coverage and with it being an octabox, wrapped around tech nicely. I then added the grid and kept my light roughly in the same position. I'd only changed the angle slightly downward and also made adjustments raising and lowering the light depending on whether we were doing some standing or seated shots. Take a look at some of the images from this set. For our second look, I used a single Link 800 flash unit with our foldable softbox and I placed it camera right about 90 degrees. I angled the softbox so the edge furthest from me was more in line with the edge of tech's face. This position created more of a soft and moody look and that's what I wanted to achieve. The grid really tightened up my spread of light and combined with the angle took away any light from spilling onto my background. For one final look during this setup, I removed the grid and kept the light placement the same. This brightened up the scene and added some light onto the background. Take a look at some final images from this set. This wraps up our series on gridded modifiers. I hope you found this video helpful. Go ahead, give us a follow over on Instagram at PolicyBuffInc. And for a chance to be featured, use that hashtag PolicyBuff. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.